Good morning. Welcome to Ham Radio Test and Review. My name is Dave. My call sign is N8DAV, and the model for my channel is One Test is Worth a Thousand Expert Opinions. Today, I am out at my favorite park, that's Fox Glen Park in Flagstaff, Arizona. And I'm out here to do a uh, antenna shootout. Now, we're going to be doing a stubby antenna shootout. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun, right? So, um, what I'm at is I'm about uh, 2.7 miles uh, from my base station. My base station consists of a Baofeng UV-17 Pro GPS with a REDS Engineering SRPT-03 repeater controller. And uh, I'm out here with my um, trusty VTEC UV Pro in uh, beige or tan or FDE, whatever you want to call it. And um, I have five different stubby antennas here with me. And so let me go over them uh, with you here one by one, and then we'll start testing them and see how it works out. Okay, I'll be right back. Now, I'm in a little bit different uh, place uh, than I normally do my testing. Um, I'm down behind a little hill and a bunch of rocks uh, because I just wanted to make it as tough as I could for the stubby antennas, uh, but still give them a chance to get into the repeater. So, um, again, uh, I've got the sun facing me, unfortunately, but... Uh, it is what it is. I'm, uh, I'm doing the best I can with what I have to work with. I chose these five stubby antennas I'm going to use for the shootout uh, for a particular reason. And that reason is, is that they looked the best on paper. Now, I keep a spreadsheet of all my results, and I went through uh, the results, and um, these were uh, five of the best. Not necessarily the best, um, but five of the best uh, that I came up with when I did all my stubby uh, testing. All right, first antenna up is the Comet, I'm sorry, the Diamond, Diamond RH3. Little, little tiny, tiny stubby antenna. All right, this is an authentic diamond. Don't uh, be uh, 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 leaving messages and, and posts saying it's not a real one. It's a real one, believe me. I bought uh, two of these things. I'm both from legitimate uh, dealers, um, ones that are nationwide and no you know the, who they are. So um, now I've uh, the next antenna I'm going to be testing is a Bing Fu soft rubber antenna. All right. Next up is a Bing Fu little stubby antenna. Uh, this is UHF only, and I am testing on UHF today. Next up is the AR806. This is the Abri AR806. Uh, this is the shorter of the 806 series. And last those. but not least, this is the Gable SCH32. As you can see, another little short stubby All antenna. Right, we're going to start with the Bing Fu soft rubber duck, rubber stubby duck antenna. Here we go. N8DAV, testing one, two, three, four. N8DAV, testing one, two, three, four. Well, that wasn't very good, but I didn't expect it to be. 2.7 miles on a stubby antenna. Yeah, that's uh, that's pushing it really hard. You could hear all the static there, and, and you can also tell um, that the modulation wasn't so hot. So um, I'll be right back, and we'll use it. we'll go to the next antenna. Next up is the Diamond RH3 stubby antenna. N8DAV testing one, two, three, four. N-A-V-A-V, well, still not great. However, I felt that the uh, modulation, uh, the sound quality, and uh, and everything was just a little bit better, just a tiny bit better than the Bing Fu uh, soft rubber duck antenna. So let's go on to our All third right. one. Here we are, back again. I now have the Gabiel, I'm sorry, the Bing Fu um, UHF only antenna. There's no model number on this. Uh, but on, I'll have a link to it, uh, um, affiliate link on uh, Amazon to it. It's a pretty cheap antenna, and uh, it's not very well made. However, uh, it did pretty well on my stubby antenna test, so let's try it right now. N8DAV, testing one, two, three, four. N8DAV, testing one, two, three, four. All right, well, I kind of think that that... Um, did about as well as the soft rubber, uh, Bing Fu uh, rubber, uh, soft rubber antenna, um, and uh, but uh, not quite as good as the uh, Comet um, 
I'm sorry, as the Diamond R H three. Right. I have on here the Abri A R eight O six. This is the shorter of the two eight O six antennas. All right, let's try it and see how it works. N eight D A V testing one two three four. N eight D A V testing one two three four. Oh, that was uh, better. I think what I might have to do is, um, is uh, at the end here, I might just test that one against the um, Diamond RH3. Oh, that one was uh, pretty good. All right, I will All right. be right Last back. but not least, we have the Gabiel, or Gable, SCH32, stubby antenna. N8DAV, testing one, two, three, four. All right, well, the modulation was uh, okay on that, and uh, but there was a lot of static, there was a lot of stack on all of them. I would say this was average. I think it did about as well as the, uh, as the soft rubber antenna and the, uh, and the little UHF antenna. So let me uh, go back to the uh, best two, and uh, let's see how they compare. Okay, the final shootout now is going to be between the Abri 8, R806, uh, shorter of the two 806 antennas, and the uh, Diamond RH3 antenna right here. All right, so let's try them out. N8 DAV, testing one, two, three, four. N8 DAV, testing one, two, three, four. All right, I will be right back. Right, here we go. Final try. This is with the Diamond RH3 antenna. N8 DAV testing one, two, three, four. N8 DAV testing one, two, three, four. Hmm, that was pretty darn close. I would have to give the edge to the RH3. All right, I have one more test I'm going to try here. Um, I'm going to turn the volume down. Um, because this test is going to involve just watching the S meter on my UV Pro to see um, how strong the signal is. So um, first we did a kind of a transmission modulation test, and now I want to see how strong the signal is on each one of these antennas after I, uh, I, I key down and uh, I'll, uh, I'll say something, but I, I'm, we're not going to hear what I'm saying. I just want to see the signal strength coming back. All right, so let's uh, let's try that. I'll be right back. All right, coming back with the Comet RH. I'm sorry, the Diamond. Oh, I don't know why I'm doing this today. Diamond RH3. NADAV testing one two three four. And I'm getting a signal strength of about five and a half. All right, all right. I'll come back right back with the next all right. one. Here's the Abri 8R806. Let's try it. NADAV testing one two three four. And I'm getting a signal strength of right about five and a quarter. All right, be right back. All right, I got the Bing Fu UHF only antenna. Let's try it. N8 DAV testing one, two, three, four. And I'm getting a signal strength of right about five, just a tad over five, maybe 5.1. All right, be right back. All right, last but not least, we have the Gable SCH32. N8 DAV testing one, two, three, four. And we're getting a signal strength of right about five and a quarter. All right. That was a pretty good test. I like that one. All right. Very good. Uh, be right back with my thoughts. If you like my content, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And uh, if you want to see more of my content, please uh, click on the bell icon so you can get notifications of everything that I release. I would really appreciate it. Thank you very much for your consideration. All right. So today we tested the Bing Fu soft rubber uh, stubby antenna. We tested the um, Diamond RH3 stubby antenna. We tested the Bing Fu UHF only stubby antenna. Then we tested the Abri AR806 uh, shorter of the two stubby antennas. And then we tested the Gable SCH32 stubby antenna. Now, I think there were all five of them were all pretty close in the modulation department, but I think the winner of the test was the Diamond RH3. It was just a little bit better 
than the um, Bing Fu soft rubber stubby antenna. And uh, just it, it was really just pretty darn close tied with the AR806 uh, a Brie. So um, in the modulation test, though, I still gave it to the Diamond RH3. Now, in the um, S meter, the reception test, um, the hands down winner was the, again, was the Diamond RH3. I got an S reading of, um, a signal strength reading of right about 5.5, 5. 5, which was a little higher than the AR806, which was at about at eight and a quarter. So, boy, yeah, that's great, you know. Um, I like these tests. And so the winner of the shootout is the uh, Diamond RH3 at Stubby Antenna. I think this is terrific. I love these shootouts. Okay, so um, what, what we, this is what we learned today. We, um, I'm, if you guys like this, let me know in the comments, and I'll do more of these. I have plenty of antennas. I've got, I've got a whole box full of them. I haven't even started testing them yet. So uh, let me know. Let me know what you'd like to see in a shootout, and uh, I'll see what I can do on getting that one done, too. I've got the perfect place right here uh, to get the uh, antenna tests done. Uh, and uh, it's just, a, as you could hear, it was just a great uh, place, a great area. It's uh, a little secluded, and, um, and it's very quiet. So anyway, my name is Dave, and this is Ham Radio Test and Review, saying 73 and so long.